Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and this is the Frontline Changes Report for the day of 881 for the 23rd of July. And uh, for the past 24 hours, there are some frontline changes. And uh, so we have frontline changes over at the Khaki front at Staresia. Uh, there's frontline changes at Pishane, Vovshev, Vo uh, Yechenivka and Novoselivka Persia. Not that many as compared to the yesterday's yesterday's and uh, we got to start off with the uh, studies here over at the khaki front and uh this uh, uh this a uh, very bullish uh, russian claim continued to step by step getting invalidated in fact the ukrainian forces even taken some grounds uh over in studies here and uh ukrainian forces uh have more advanced control than previously understood uh, so even taking grounds that was previously confirmed to be under russian control so uh, so that's some uh, no good news for the Ukrainian side that the Russian uh, that the Russian forces is getting pushed back over in the in over in the uh, Stadisia region, and the Ukrainian forces getting uh, some some success you know some rare success over in the Kharkiv front, and uh, the next front line change uh, is over at Pishane. So uh, the the co corroboration of the capture of Pishane continues. And this time round, uh, we have almost the entirety of Pishane confirmed. This is based on the Ukrainian mapping. We left a little bit here. Uh, that is still not, uh, that is not confirmed to be under uh, uh, Ukraine, uh, Russian control. Ukraine, uh, Russian forces uh, have taken uh, basically everything. Uh, in fact, plus some buffer zone around Pishane with the Russian forces uh, expanding in all directions and capturing the entire settlement. Uh, there is still a lot of uh, very strong uh, Ukrainian positions all around Pishane, but uh, but the Pishane is basically almost there, just a little bit left over here in the southwestern part of uh, of the settlement for the Russians to capture. And uh, once that is corroborated, I will declare Pishane as captured by the Russian forces. So uh, after Pishane, uh, we have the next front line change all over far, far away at the at the FK front over at Voschev. So in, in this area here, there is two main frontline changes. As you can see, there's another one over Yekhanivka. So the Russian forces have expanded control in the northern part of uh, Voschev, which is also the western part of Progress. And uh, this uh, builds a strong uh, foothold along this railway line and the northern part allows the Russian forces to attack southward into Voschev. And the salient around Yekhanivka has is now a uh, disclaimed by the Ukrainian side that the Russian forces have made some good progress in the western part of Yekhanivka. So this is the current situation over at this area here. And uh, just in case you don't watch the SIPRAP, the situation report that will be published you know, uh, almost daily on the DPA war channel, um, you know, which I do recommend you to watch. Uh, the there is Ukrainian uh, the, the sources. Deep State UA has actually uh, say that the Ukrainian forces in the area of progress uh, in this area here on Luzovatsky has been encircled and there is actually no orders coming from the Ukrainian command or the leadership to redraw. So uh, they are very pissed off and uh, they say that uh, it seems like the, the, the command wanted these troops to uh, what the brigade leadership wants the fighter to continue to be surrounded until the last soldier. And this come as an irony because uh, just when I posted this update on uh, Twitter and and the Telegram, I say that I don't believe the Ukrainian forces are there. I believe the Ukrainian forces would have been ordered to redraw. No, I try to give some faith and uh, positivity to the Ukrainian um, you know, forces, the Ukrainian military. Immediately, I got shot down. This bubble immediately is burst. So, you know, lesson learned. Never cope. So, uh, over at the Novoselivka, Persia, uh, there is this frontline change, and this is significant. As I mentioned uh, yesterday, uh, Russian forces, after attacking from the western part, from the north, they will attack from the east. And we are now confirmed that this had happened with the location of Russian forces, basically, on the southeastern part of over Selivka, Persia, and based on Ukrainian mapping, the entire northeast have been fully captured by the Russian forces. So, uh, so this area here, this area here is uh, Ukrainian mapping. 
this area here is by geolocation. So with this, we can confirm that the Ukrainian forces is now at the verge of losing the entire of Nova Selivka, Persia, leaving just a little bit in the south, south of Nova Selivka, Persia. And uh, with, I believe the Russian forces will go for this junction and uh, the Ukrainian forces will have to be forced into a mass redrawal if they have not redrawn yet. So anyway, this is uh, the big news for the day as well as the Pishani one. So anyway, this is the two, this is the frontline changes report. Uh, do press the like button, subscribe. Very simple one, very short one uh, because not that much for the past 24 hours. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next update.